Okay, what we are going to do today is um, we're going to create a, a shape and then we're going to go ahead and go back and try to dimension it out to make it a specific size. So I'm going to go to File, New, Part, and File, Save As, and we will call this <coughs> Castle wall. I'm going to hit save. It should change down here, and it does. Start 2D sketch and XY plane. So, what I mean by castle wall is let's say that we have, um, we're trying to create something that looks like this. Uh, it has these little protecting. Um, outcroppings on the top of the wall. So what we can do is go back to Autodesk and I'm going to drag down into quadrant one and then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create the general shape. Let's say it's like a panel of the castle wall that eventually like will connect things together and, and make it a larger, um, a larger wall but we can start off with one piece. So I can, well, there's a few ways to do this, but let's start with the line. And I'm start with a vertical line and let's make it um, 100 inches. So 100.00. And I'm zooming out using the scroll button. Zooming out with the scroll button, and then I'm just going to make the general shape of the object. So I remember from the picture that we have these things, these outcroppings, and I'm making straight lines here that line up, and then coming back down to the bottom here when it's straight so it's 90 degrees I click and then still have my line and bring it over and I hit escape so I have the general portion of the wall so I have the basic shape but let's try to make it more symmetrical and what I can do is then I can look at the dimensions. So let's try to make these all equal sizes. And the first thing that I would maybe want to do, or I would want to do, is dimension the bottom. So let's say that this is supposed to be, um, let's say it's supposed to be 80 inches. So it shortens up that one side, if you noticed, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, we have a gap, five, um, so maybe, actually this might make more sense, so let's make this a hundred, so that's a hundred, the sides are a hundred, which means if we have one, two, three, four, five gaps, so let's make each one of these 25. Or I mean, sorry, 20, right? 100 divided by 5 is 20. So I can go here, that one's 16, let's change it to 20. Okay. So I'm just checking each one of these 20. And you'll notice like when each time I do this, it's affecting the, the next gap. And then knowing that this is 20, 20, 20, 20, this one should absolutely be 20 if I did the math correctly, and it is. And it says you don't need to measure that one because it's over, um, it's kind of like overkill. Uh, 
just like I was saying, if the math is correct, then that one would have to be 20. And then we look and see that one is 100, All right? Overkill, again, we have this one over here, which corresponds to the right side if all the math is correct. So um, if these annoy you, you can get rid of them by right-clicking on them and deleting them. So delete. Good. And because we created this with line, you do, you do need to understand that if you do end up changing these, like let's say that it's not supposed to be 100, and it's supposed to be um, like 80, See how it, uh, <clears throat> it created this problem right here, which just shrunk down that side as opposed to um, fixing the whole top um, to make it even. So when we use things like line, they're not constrained together, and so it's not going to automatically do that. So just remember that when you change dimensions. Um, so if you were to go back and try and make this even at the top, you'd have to do, again, you do 80 divided by 5 and measure each one of the gaps here. So let's change this back to 100 and it should go back to normal. It does. And let's change this back to 100. Finish sketch. Home. Extrude to let's say 10 inches, enter, and let's find some kind of material that kind of looks like our image. No. There was like a stone. Um, okay, well, we can make this for right now. Why don't we? Where's concrete? So we can make this concrete and I'm gonna close that. So we have concrete, which you know could be what castle walls made out of. Typically, it's rock. Uh, but we'll click save and we are done with that object.